Hey guys, what's up, Aries? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also, keep in mind this is a general reading. So we'll take what's yours, leave the rest behind. All right, Aries. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, Aries. All right, let's see what's coming up for you. Uh, something's been a struggle, maybe like a, just a mental struggle. Could have um, really blocked yourself off, but something, oof. It's been like a no movement in a situation. A whole lot of heaviness maybe, but just kind of defensive. All right, Aries, what's coming up for Aries? Like, just a difficult time. It could just be wore out from work or something, but it seems like mentally driving someone crazy. All right. Near future for Aries. Not wanting to talk, apparently. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Yeah, you could be dealing with a person who can cut off your emotions pretty damn easily. Or just like come off kind of cold. Thank you. Yeah, kind of a withdrawn energy. Someone could be fed up. That is a part of, you know, not paying attention. It could be boredom. The King of Wands. He's a, uh, this could be your energy, but it could be the person that you're dealing with. This person can, you know, um, one card, please. Is a faster energy, likes a lot of variety, a lot of spice. There's that mental headspace. Show me this four of cups for Aries. What is going on? This is your energy right in the center of it all. What the fuck? So you could be kind of, somebody could just definitely be hard headed, like um, manipulative. But you could be kind of getting fed up with the bullshit. What is this five of swords? Somebody could just be like out for themselves, worried about themselves all the time, something like that. The hangman. This might be a little hard headedness with this. It doesn't have to be that serious. It's just an immediate future reading. Somebody could have been a player, moved on. Uh Tell me about this hangman. Yeah, you're guarded towards this person. Kind of like, what the hell is up? But you you may just be fed up with, with the bullshit, like I said. Things have kind of been stagnant. It's been in a position where it's not moving. For some of you guys, it could be like just um, whether this is on your part or their part. You know, maybe somebody is being a little stubborn here. Uh, it's a general reading. Don't overthink things, though, because it's leaving somebody in a place of probably too much confusion. Show me this King of Wands for Aries. Let's see what's going on. A whole lot of nothing. Like I said, like, there's been no movement. Six of Swords. All right, so somebody does want to communicate. This is someone that you probably got, like, fed up with the either the weight or the behavior or something like that um but this person yeah they definitely want to come towards you or you want to go towards them i don't know but somebody wants this could be traveling but moving towards a more peaceful time um communicating could be traveling with especially with the fool here but like worried this is not usually the king who gets worried <clears throat> So it's interesting, but a lot of sleepless nights, anxiety around this. And we have the eight and the nine of swords. So someone's having like a lot of thoughts, a lot of worry, like continuously thinking about this. 
but none of those thoughts are productive. Like there's nothing factual about them. There's nothing. Um, it's it's worry. It's anxiety. It's fear. But I don't know why. Why is he so? You could have blocked this person. It's just not the king that really gets worried. Show me this Eight of Swords, please. I'm not sure if they're speaking up or not. All right, slowly. This person's like nervous, worried about something, may just be super stressed. The Knight of Pentacles, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is coming forward to offer something. They want to hang out. They want to reconcile, reunite with you, that type of thing. I don't know if it's happening here in the immediate future. Yeah, the Hermit. Um, Virgo energy, but somebody somebody's not moving quite yet. He's doing that inner reflection, that inner thinking. I don't know why they're so nervous. It's like trying to figure out how to approach the situation. It's like still kind of in this mind trap cave of the mind. <laughs> mind trap cave of the mind. You know what I'm saying now. Going with and doing this inner reflection very inward. Or you may have to read. There could be an offer that you have to reflect on. There's a lot of things hidden here. I don't think they're showing you. This could be a Pisces, but I don't think they're showing you how stressed out they are. I don't know why they're so stressed out. It's different for everybody, but it could just have a lot of weight on them, a lot of responsibility, or this could be on you. This could have just been a difficult situation that you're just trying to heal from. Yeah, it's not moving right now. It's like going so slow. Show me what this moon is. It's like communication would probably help this out. Yeah, I mean, there's no damn movement. Somebody's just guarded going through like a struggle or you've been through too much of a struggle with this. It's about waiting patiently. This is probably something that you have been through a struggle with and you have invested quite a bit of time and energy in. I don't know what this person is so stressed about. They want to move forward. They want to reconcile, but they're not. And they're not like, there's somebody so in their head trying to figure shit out in hermit mode, trying to do this inner reflection. But it's anxiety that's blocking this, some type of worry. And that King of Wands is, um, not usually the one who stresses. It's not really the stressor type. Somebody could have like, I don't know, be nervous about having to break free from something. I'm not sure. Damn. So you are on your way. You're manifesting your emotional fulfillment, right? It's on the horizon. It could be a Gemini as well. Um, it's not here quite yet. <clears throat> All right, Aries, hope this helped, hope this resonated. So please make sure that you like and subscribe below. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.